watching Quad Cities Live. This is the moment. This is the time. The momentum and the moment are in right. Give me this moment. This precious chance. Jackal and Hyde the Musical opens tonight at Quad City Music Guild in Moline. The show spotlights the struggle between good and evil. And two of the actors who help bring the storyline to life on stage join us now. Taylor Bly plays Dr. Henry Jekyll and Edward Hyde. And Ariella Policastro plays Lucy Harris. And thanks so much for you two for being here today. What a fun show. I was at your <laughs> dress rehearsal the other night. I was blown away. I mean, there's so much talent in community theater. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we are really, we're excited to bring it to the stage tonight. I cannot believe the, um, the range of songs that you sing and the costume changes. Um, what's it like to be part of this? It's definitely been the most challenging show I've been a part of. Just vocally, it's a monster. But it's so rewarding to be a part of the cast and crew that all help out together and it, we really made something magical happen. Taylor, let's touch on the storyline for folks that might not be familiar with Jekyll and Hyde. So it follows the uh, common Jekyll and Hyde story from the 1800 uh, novel, Strange Case of uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Um, this sort of musical focuses on Jekyll's sort of obsession with, he has his personal reasons for trying to find the reasons for there being good and evil. He believes that all men are made of good and evil parts. He's trying to essentially separate those parts scientifically so that um, he can rid the world of all evil. And he has his personal reasons for that that are explained at the very beginning of the show. Um, as most people know, um, if you've heard of the Jekyll and Hyde story, it has some uh, results that don't go well and it has drastic consequences. And that's sort of the way the musical plays out is how those consequences um, play out uh, throughout the rest of the storyline um, and sort of the unraveling of a once sort of brilliant man who makes what's probably a big mistake. Ariella, tell us a little bit about your character. Absolutely. So, like with Jekyll, um, he has a personal struggle between good and evil. There's also a struggle societally between the rich and the poor, and Lucy Harris, my character, tends to be uh, trapped by the poor aspect and just hardships throughout life. And so she's kind of tr trying to figure out who she is and what she can do with the life that she was given. And, yeah, a lot transpires after that. <laughs> Well, and here, Taylor Bly is a producer here uh, at TV6, uh, works very hard behind the scenes, and so this is a shift for you, uh, being on stage and, and sorts, but I know you've been involved with theater for quite some time. Yeah, I've been doing um, theater since I was in high school. Um, I have a long history of performance. I actually studied music for a long time in college, I have a minor in music, um, been taking voice lessons since I was 17 years old. Um, and it's really interesting, the dichotomy of, um, you know, being here, working behind the scenes every single day, sort of um, making shows happen um, and designing shows and doing that, whereas this is sort of more of my realm of, this is where I like shining is on stage in front of, you know, a controlled audience. So it's really something to be able to look at both, you know, television production versus theater production to come to similar but different uh, realms. Very much so, but I, 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 again, I was blown away by the talent on stage, and, and you're right when you said the music's a, a monster, meaning just there's so much, that, the range you've got to perform. Talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. Well, um, like Taylor, I've been also taking vocal lessons. I studied uh, music education at Augustana College, um, just graduated, and you know, Congrats. it's, thank you, thank <laughs> you. Um, it's just been such a wild ride from college to now, and working with uh, David Baxter, the music director, has been really rewarding. Um, he just pushes us to the extremes and um, to be the best that we could be and I'm so lucky to have shared that process with everybody yeah what about you yeah for music <laughs> <laughs> sorry um, I've counted it up before and I believe I've got somewhere around 16 songs in this show so um, like Ariel said um, easily the most challenging thing I've ever done on stage and it's not even just musically it's not even just knowing notes or hitting high notes or you know 
Oh, dynamic range or anything like that. I literally, because I play two different characters, I have to have different vocal timbers. I have different speech cadences. I, um, Jekyll is very up here and like trying to, you know, more like Hyde's very like down more so where I actually speak, but a little bit more grovelly, a um, little bit more growls and aggressiveness and whatnot. And so, you know, I walk different. I have to move different. It's physically exhausting, it's vocally exhausting, mentally exhausting, but I mean, it is but you by both. far the most rewarding <laughs> I was gonna thing say, I've you ever both done. Find it rewarding, I, I right? love it's every fun. bit of it. Mm -hmm. We're, we're looking at more video, just uh, mm -hmm. more of the set. I, I, the, the, the set itself, the lighting, the music, everything's phenomenal. So uh, we definitely invite everybody out to Jacqueline Hyde, the musical kicks off tonight. So you guys break a leg. Thank you. Uh, and then it goes uh, next weekend as well. Uh, each evening showing is at 7.30, and then the matinees on Sunday are at 2. They're at Prospect Park Auditorium in Moline. You can call the box office or uh, visit online to get your tickets. Thank you so much for you guys for being here today. Great job. Thanks Thank for you. having us, Jake.